about this solar panel here from the dollar store. It's just a little solar panel here that runs a little LED light in here. And these go around your walkway or garden or whatever. And at nighttime they light up so you can see where you're going. Um, they're not that bright really. But when you take them apart, right here's some screws and you pull them apart. On the inside, there's actually a battery in there. Well, here's what I did afterwards. I guess I'll pull it apart. That's what it looks like on the inside. You just got a double A battery in, or triple A battery in here. And a little board with smarter than me gadgets on it. Um, what I did is I just took all this stuff off from a screw right here, pulled it through, and put it back on the back side so I can put it on here without this gadgety stuff. <laughs> and so I can hook it up like that. Now this flashlight here, last night, I tore this one apart. I took the battery out and I put it in this little flashlight right here. I mean, it's just a little cheap flashlight. I turned this on last night and let it run all night long and ran the battery dead that came with this solar panel. And then this morning, I put it back in the solar panel and stuck it outside and in the morning sun. I probably had it out there for an hour, maybe less. And I put it back inside of this flashlight and that's what I'm getting out of it. So, uh, this here's a pretty good way for, for a dollar at the dollar store to have like an endless battery pretty much. You know, you could pack a bunch of batteries with you for your flashlight and it's going to go dead. Or you could just use this battery that it comes with and just keep charging it as you need it charged. You wire two of them together. You could even take them all out of this plastic thing if you really wanted to and figure out some kind of better way. Like a, a tin would be sweet, like um, an Altoids tin or something. And if you could get these on, like maybe the face of it, so when you close it, it all stay together. When you open it, You'd have panels here and your charger on the inside of the bigger part of the Altoid tank. All right, what it did is I just cut the outer circle off here with my knife. I came in from the inside and it was upside down like this. With pieces After I on tore it. a couple of these apart, I got just these cells out here. So I wired them together, positive to negative, and then positive would go to negative, so I have a negative and a positive here. And I don't, I didn't know if that would work or not. So what I did is I just wired these together here, and then I went with this little light that it came with, put these two in the sun, touched them to their connections, and it lit that light up brighter than it does with just one. So yeah, it's obviously working for me. So I'm gonna try to get this third one on here, get them all hooked up, and try to get it set up in this tin somehow. So my plan is to get three of these in here but they won't fit with this outer plastic frame on it. So I have to cut it off. And if I cut it off, I got just enough room to get three of these guys in there. So I'm working on cutting it off, but I don't want to damage it. So I'm coming from the back back here and cutting on this corner. Slowly until I get in there. See how deep I have to go. I can see right there I'm through. Without cutting your finger off. See I'm through right there. Then I'll come up and I'll cut these corners here. And peel that piece off. And once I peeled that off, I figured I could cut I found I could cut just a little bit here and then just start peeling it back all the way around. And it came off pretty easy for me, so I'm gonna finish doing that. All right, here's what I came up with. I could fit the battery right here. This one's charged already, but um, the JB weld set. I could always remove this and hook up any other batteries. I got three solar panels right there. It's got some funk on it, and these wipes. And I got this flashlight here. I mean, it's almost dead. I'm gonna take this battery out.
stick it in here and go put it in the sun see how long it takes for it to do its thing give it about a I'm gonna give it a half right, an well, hour I pulled and see how the it does. battery out of the little solar charger probably been in there 50 minutes now and uh, this is the difference so doesn't take very long charge it up and that's just a a uh, triple A I'm gonna drain a double A see if I can get that to charge I'm gonna see how far I can go maybe a D battery who knows might take a little longer but we'll see